good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Life of Logan TV. And if you're new here, if you haven't done so already, I would greatly appreciate if you would hit the subscribe button and don't just hit it once, hit it twice. But when you hit it the second time, make sure that you select the notification bell so you always are notified whenever I drop one of these videos. Thank you to everyone. And don't forget to like the video, comment whenever something resonates with you, and make sure you share the content. Always appreciate everybody who does that. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine, a buddy from college, and we hadn't talked in a while, um, a few months, which, hey, that happens with adults. Uh, it, and it doesn't mean that you all are any less friends or y'all ain't cool no more, or whatever, stuff like that. It's just things happen. Um, things happen, life gets in the way. You're like, dang, I do need to call them. I need to send a text or touch base with them and stuff happens or whatever. But when I called them, I was just like, hey, how you doing? And you know, they gave me the standard answer. I'm okay. But me being me, I always can read people pretty well and I can read what's going on with people. Um, so I said, okay, I'm going to ask you this again. And this time, feel free to go on ahead and tell me the truth. And when I asked them again, how are you doing? Like I heard them and they confirmed it. Um, they started crying. They started crying and they proceeded to tell me about things that were going on in their life uh, with kids, with um, sick parents with just the hurdles that we have to jump in life and yeah I know it's being an adult and yeah I know nobody ever said life wasn't going to be easy was going to be easy but at the same time that's why we're all here together they're like that's why we all you know what I'm saying we we locked in like with each other and that's what this video is about never forget you have a support system. You're not a burden. You're not a bother to anybody. At least with me. If you're in my life, you're not you're not any of those things. You're not a burden. You're not a bother to me. And even if I don't have the bandwidth or um then bandwidth is not just time. Sometimes it's the emotional bandwidth. I'm okay with you know what? If this is really important, if you deem it as something being important, if you deem it as something that's being important to you and you going through it, let's go ahead and chop it up. Let's go ahead and bust it down because we all need somebody. We all need somebody. And even if you're in a relationship, sometimes it's easy to talk to people outside of that relationship. Especially if it's about problems within a relationship. Yes, I know we should all be able to do address things with people, but that's just like with family. You know, um, sometimes it's easier to talk to people outside of the family or even with therapy, which I'm big on. Oftentimes it's easier to talk to a stranger than it is to talk to the people who have uh, inflicted the things on you or people that you've, you've been in the trenches with and you're currently going through things with. So that's what I'm coming on here to tell y'all that it's okay to not be okay. And I feel like we get we get it twisted, we get it lost that vulnerability, how freeing that is, how powerful that is. When I was coming up, my grandmother would often say, she was she would tell me, she was like, Stephen, you tell the truth. Stephen, tell the truth no matter what, no matter even if you think the truth. Uh, may make people look at you different. You think the truth may hurt some people's feelings because you don't want to walk around with the shackles of a lie on you. And lies are shackles. And when we say, I'm okay, and we're not okay, that's the shackle. That, that That's that shackle. Because we've just been taught in this world that I ain't front that being vulnerability, being vulnerable is like some punk stuff. And it's not. Like, we're all men and women. Everybody walking around like, I'm hard. I'm hard. 
And you may be hard, but we all gonna have some weak moments. We all gonna have some moments that we gonna break down. We all gonna have some moments that we might need to lean on somebody. Being vulnerable is, I tell anybody, man, being vulnerable, that's my superpower. Because it's freeing. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I, I, I got the right amount of effort in my system where I don't care if people judge me. I don't care if people, you know, some people might share the video and be like, man, look at this dude on her talking about this stuff. Okay, that's cool. Thank you for sharing the content. Appreciate you. Running the numbers up. Because listen to me now and believe me later on, but you will have to be vulnerable with someone in this life. Even as short of a trip as we are on with life, you blinking years pass. You will have to be vulnerable with someone in this life, someone in this world. You have to be vulnerable. And we, like I said, we think that it's weak. We think that it's something that should be frowned upon when it's like, no, you're a human being having a human experience and sometimes it gets a little bit rough sometimes the road gets too much for you to hope you can't keep doing it but that's why it's important to circle the wagons and bring people around you and have that support system and when someone is asking you genuinely how are you feeling i ain't talking about when we at work and we around the water cooler and stuff like that or whatever i'm talking about someone who you personally know asking you how are you feeling how you doing tell them like tell them because this is your story to tell and no one is going to tell your story for you at least they're not going to tell it as accurately as you can tell it because you've lived in this life every day 24 7 52 365 you so ask yourself this and be honest with yourself because after all the most important relationship we will ever have is a relationship with ourselves ask yourself this how are you doing today and I'll answer since I just asked myself that question I'm making it I'm making it. You know, I'm surviving. Could it be better? Yeah, it could be better. Has this week been like a weird week where I just didn't feel high strung? I didn't felt like I'm on 10. I felt like I am one more straw away from not just the camel's back from being broken, but from sitting it off. Yeah, I have. But that's why the gift of knowing thyself is important because I know this stuff and I'm honest with myself because again the relationship I have with myself not to be trifled with not to be toyed with the relationship I have with myself is important to me so I will not lie to myself and then in not lying to myself and being so free and being vulnerable with myself, it allows me to be vulnerable with those around me. So, I ask you this again. How are you doing? Honestly, answer that for yourself. And it's okay if you're not doing the best you can. It's okay if you're just hanging on by a thread that's okay but at least you know and with that knowledge of yourself and you knowing you know how to love on yourself a little bit more you know how to articulate hopefully uh, to the people around you who want to help you you can articulate that to them and let them know hey this is what you can do for me right now if you can't do anything for me and if they can't do anything for you that's cool it ain't no hard feelings because again we're all busy trying to fill our own love cup at least we should be but at least you've got it out there and like I've said before 
it's not really that someone can't do things for you. It's just about the fact of, hey, right now, I ain't got it in me to do it right now. And that's fair. That's understandable. But I want you to take the time to really sit with yourself and think, how am I doing today? Ladies and gentlemen, this has been another video courtesy of Life of Logan TV. Thank you all so much for everybody who has watched this video. If you made it to the end, you are the real MVP and I appreciate you. Um, make sure that you like the video. Make sure that you comment if anything resonated with you. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Um, make sure that you share the content. Again, these are all free things, uh, free things that you can do to um, motivate me, keep me going, and keep pushing me to make this content for you all. Thank you all so much. Appreciate you all. I hope that you are having an incredible day, and I hope that if you're not feeling your best, you're at least kind to yourself. One more thing. These are the be kind to yourself by selves. <laughs> Had to go and do that for y'all. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the other side. In the meantime and in between time, please make sure that you love yourself and love those around you. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Yeah, good night.